All right, this is a video that's hopefully going to help you walk through how to take your research and turn it into an actual research paper. Now, the difference between this and what you've been using in your last papers is that you're using sources here. You're, you're, uh, this time you're, you're saying something. And remember, the only reason to bring in sources is so you have an authority on the subject. You, you want to use authoritative resources. Uh, this is why you're using the database. We know the information in there is authoritative. Sometimes we go to Google, sometimes we go to Wikipedia, but anybody can put anything there. In fact, uh, if you look at Wikipedia, um, it actually says, this is in Wikipedia, it says, um, for many purposes, Particularly in academia, Wikipedia may not be an acceptable source. So you want to stick to the sources that you've been researching in your database because we know those have been vetted, those are experts, those are reliable sources, and, th and that's why we want to use them in our paper. Uh, don't believe everything you read on the Internet just because there's a picture and a quote next to it, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, people can post anything they want on the Internet. Obviously, this is not by Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the Internet wasn't around when Abraham Lincoln was around. But uh, So it's just a humorous little portrayal of why we need to be careful of our sources and why we're using the sources that you researched on the library database. Now, on to the meat of the paper. You must begin with a solid thesis statement. Remember, you're going to be making an argument about your topic. Um, we should use wind energy to supply some of our needs, or we should uh, legalize marijuana, or whatever your topic is, but you need to make an argument. You begin that with a thesis statement. Now, the thesis statement, for the purposes of this paper, should come at the end of your introduction. Uh, your introduction, you'll draw people in with some sort of exciting quote or some sort of scenario or something or question, something that piques an individual's interest. And then you'll work your way to your thesis statement. So introduce your topic and work your way to your thesis statement. Uh, the thesis statement serves two main purposes. First, it plainly and clearly states the argument you're going to make. And number two, it outlines the points you're going to prove this argument. Now this next slide has to do with a paper about a story but you can apply it to your own purposes. So um, you could say, we need W because of X, Y, and Z. We need to legalize marijuana because of X, Y, and Z. Uh, we need to use wind energy or whatever your topic is. And then the X, Y, and Z are going to be the reasons, the proof you have that says we need to do that. So your thesis statement should be something along this lines. Now, your body paragraphs will make the argument. The entire purpose of the body of the paper is to prove the argument you're making in your thesis statement. Okay, so the whole body needs to be focused around that. Therefore, your body paragraphs need to begin with a topic sentence. This topic sentence tells the reader, and it needs to begin, it needs to start off with that, because you know what you're writing about, but your reader doesn't. So you need to make sure and, and make that clear and plain. Uh, your topic sentence states the point that you're going to prove. So once again, it directly, topic sentence directly relates back to and works to support the thesis statement of the essay. Once again, this is an example I use when we're writing the story about a story, but this is the same thing. Um, one of the reasons we need to legalize marijuana is because of X. And uh, then your next paragraph would be one of the reasons we need to legalize marijuana is because of Y. One of the reasons we need to legalize marijuana is because of Z. In other words, you restate your argument and then talk about the points you're going to make in that body paragraph. Okay, So that should be the first sentence of each body paragraph so the reader knows how this ties back into your thesis statement and it should tie directly back into your thesis statement. Uh, the rest of the body paragraph 
will work to support and prove this topic sentence. Okay, now, one important concept of this is to incorporate sources into your essay. What you don't want it to look, to look like is that you just, your teachers told you to use sources, so, and I'm going to ask you to use at least three of your sources in here, at a minimum. So, um, you've collected more than that, but I want you to use at least three. So, in this case, you want to incorporate them in the essay. You just don't want them to look like they're thrown in. And there's a three-step process to doing this. First, introduce the material. What's the source and who's the authority? Where did this material come from? Uh, if there's an expert named, mention that. Then second, and most importantly, what will this material prove? Have you ever told someone something, assuming that they'll make a decision based on that? And, and then you find out that, for example, let's say you say to a friend, hey, my birthday's Friday. And what you really mean is, hey, you need to come celebrate with me. But instead, that person goes out on their Friday night poker night. Well, the, the information didn't get across. You need to tell them. You don't want your reader to guess what you mean. What will this material prove? Okay. Then you present the material. And you can do this in two ways. You can do it as a direct quotation. That is taking the words directly from your source. And if you do that, it's great. But be sure and put quotation marks around it. And use exactly what's in the quote. Don't vary it by any ways. Or you can paraphrase. You can put it in your own words. If you do that, that's fine. Just make sure it's your own words. It's not just changing a word or two. You're, it's okay to use sources here because we're, this is a research paper. Then following that, you need an in-text citation. And what that simply is, is a inside parentheses. It is the author's last name followed by a space and then a page number. If for some reason you don't have a page number, if you're looking at an HTML page instead of a PDF page, then what you would need to do is put a paragraph number. So you put the author's last name, comma, and then P-A-R period, which stands for paragraph, and then six, whatever paragraph number it is, you need to count down from the beginning. Okay, so you start off, you introduce the material, tell them what it's going to prove, you present the material with either direct quotation or paraphrase, and then you put an in-text citation right after that. Then you conclude it by telling the reader how the material proved what you claimed it would prove. Don't just assume the reader's going to get it. Think of a court case. Um, uh, if, if we're trying someone for murder, the prosecution wouldn't just put a gun up there and say, here's a gun, and then move on to the next thing. They'll say, here's a gun. The bullet fired from this gun killed the victim. Um, this gun was owned by the suspect. This gun has the suspect's fingerprints on it. The, the um, suspect had gun residue powder on his hand after the event. So, um, so then they would present that evidence, and then at the end they would say, so you can see that this gun was fired by the owner, and uh, this gun killed the person. So you need to tell the reader, so uh, we should legalize marijuana because of this. And then you have a quote, and then you say, as you can see from this expert, um, marijuana should be legalized, or whatever, whatever your topic is. Okay. So every time, and if you use just one source in a paragraph, you'll do this once. If you use more than one source, you'll do this again. Okay, you'll just do this for however many sources you have in that paragraph. Um, so, this is a little confusing, but if you work hard, you'll create a cohesive argument from a confusing forest of information. So this is how you put your body of the paper together. Work on this. I'm going to come back later with a little more about the introduction and the conclusion, and also talk about your work cited page. Uh, this last piece here, and I'll be sending this to you as well, this is what I'm going to be using. This is how I give you points for this paper. So you will be getting a copy of this as well. 
But first, work on your body of your paper. Uh, the paper will be due on Sat uh, Sunday night of this week, because we've got to get to your oral report, which is due next week. But it'll be due on Sunday night. But go ahead and go through this. I would suggest watching this video a couple of times, taking good notes. Uh, work on your body first, and then we'll come back and talk about your introduction and your conclusion and your works cited page. If you have any questions, email me or send me a message on Remind. Uh, good luck. Thank you.